Hey guys, today's video is going to be on a more serious topic. Before we get started with today's video, I want to apologize for no video last week. All right. It basically has something to do with what I'm about to talk up to you guys about today. And also on this channel, videos will be going up on Wednesdays from now on. Today's video, I want to talk to you guys about self-sabotage. So yesterday I was scrolling through Twitter, trying to think of a video idea to record for today because I was, I had some couple of ideas, but I didn't know if I really wanted to film those today or what, but I came across this tweet from this account that I actually follow and I actually quite like them. It's called rude astrology. And basically this account is mostly about the signs like your Capricorn, your Pisces, your Cancer, your Virgo, those kind of things. But sometimes I tweet out some pretty knowledgeable stuff and I'm going to read the tweet to you guys right now. Self-sabotage isn't self-hatred. It comes from a coping mechanism with danger, stopping yourself from succeeding because you're scared of what comes after, whether that is finding out success as in happiness or not knowing what to do to strive for afterwards. Now this tweet isn't 100% all the stuff that I'm going to say, like I 100% believe this tweet, but I do believe the part of stopping myself from succeeding because I'm afraid of what's going to happen. That is my true belief right there. All right. I'm always basically self-sabotaging myself to succeed. When I used to work on campus, they said out of all of their years working there and having student workers that I was the best one. And I'm not, and I'm literally not trying to toot my own horn. I'm not trying to say that I'm better than everybody. I'm not trying to say that at all. But the reason why I was working so hard is because like, I don't like to disappoint basically. Right. But with YouTube, it's a different story. YouTube is all about self-discipline, all right? You gotta bring yourself up to record these videos, to edit these videos, you know, if you're small like me. But I like editing, so no problem there. You basically gotta set yourself up for success, basically. You know, you gotta be, you have to have your correct upload time, upload it often, have good videos, good watch time, blah, 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 blah. Now with me, it's a different story with YouTube. I wanna succeed so bad, but at the same time, I'm scared to do it. I know what I want from it. I know the plans that I have, but I don't follow through on those plans. So I've, so as you guys know, I rebranded this channel to become more of a challenge challenge, a challenge channel. Basically that is a tongue twister because every video that I was popping up in my head were all challenges and I didn't want to upload them on more breezy. So to be honest, I was tired of gaming and I wanted to do something different. I wanted to spice something up. I was tired of sitting at this desk just playing a game that I didn't have any interest in anymore. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be setting myself up for success right now. Now I'm finally doing something that I want to do. I want to be happy. I want to do this and I want to do that. All right. Little did I know this was going to be harder than I thought. I was looking through all of my challenges, right? All of my challenges are week long challenges. They're 24 hour challenges. They're overnight challenges. But I don't ever start the challenge early enough to get it out on the correct day of upload, which is why I'm limiting the uploads to once a week now. There's basically three things that I do. The first thing is I could record a video in advance and edit it in advance and get it up on time. The second thing I do is record a video in advance, but not edit it till the day it's supposed to go up. Meaning instead of going up at 11, like I used to have planned, it goes up at three now right? Art goes up at 12 or one. And then the third thing that I do is I don't rec sit down to record a video until the day it's supposed to go up. So I'm editing and recording a video all the same day. And that to me right there is why I keep failing at this stuff. Why I keep feeling sad about everything. So basically I'm setting myself up for failure by doing these three things. But the first one, that first one is something that I strive for. All right. Something that I want to strive for. So it basically has me in this cycle of recording the same day, uploading the same day. And I don't like that cycle. And maybe because I'm trying to get on a schedule for YouTube so you guys can expect when my videos go up. But at the same time, like that is honestly horrible. I'm going to, I am going to, I do want to stick on a schedule though. I, I do want to. So I really want you guys to understand for, uh, from a point where I'm coming from about my self sabotage. So I want to start giving myself more time to edit. So I know I said every videos are going to be going up every Wednesday and that is going to be true, right? But if I miss Wednesday, it's because I want to take a little bit more time to edit the video and it'll go up Thursday early. How about that? 
But school is also starting back up and I have no idea how school is. So if you are still in school, please be safe if you have to go to your campus. Just be safe, social distance, wear a mask, yo. I don't have any like spray bottle, but this is hand sanitizer. So just, if somebody tries to come up next to you, go tch, okay? Go tch, okay? And also just to, an example of self-sabotage that I wanna mention is I'm doing it right now. Today is Friday, right? Friday, July 24th. And I'm gonna edit this video right now and upload it for you guys today, okay? So I'm already starting off bad with this self-sabotaging thing. So please just bear with me. Next week's video is gonna be better because I'm gonna start that video today because it's a week video and I wanna do it. But honestly guys, I'm enough today's video because I feel like I've been talking a lot. I think I got my point across. I hope you guys have a better understanding of me and where I'm coming from. But yeah guys, this has been Breezy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out everybody.